Hello and welcome back in my reading corner. Thank you so much for joining me again on my channel. I mostly do bookish subscription box unboxing. Sometimes there's another subscription box in there and sometimes you will see a little bit more like a booktube related things but mostly it's unboxings. I try to create a rating system that helps you find your favorite book subscription box without having to spend all the money that I'm spending on getting all those boxes. So I'm not only unboxing the um, boxes, I'm also looking into a few more features and I'm looking into the worth of the book. To sum it up, I am looking into things that other people aren't looking into. So if you want a reliable source to check out if a subscription box is worth it and if you will get what you expect or what you want out of a box, you should totally check out my videos. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. The box that we're looking at today is the chocolate and book box. The chocolate and book box ships from the UK. It just costs $14.99, so it is one of the cheaper boxes. And it, what that translates to in your currency, including shipping to your destination, you can see on the screen right now. With the chocolate and book box, you can select from a few different genres. I got the YA version a couple of times and it had one book that I loved, one book that I didn't like as much. And I am now getting the chocolate box for, I think I want to get it like three times and then I will most likely quit because I usually just subscribe to boxes like around three times unless there's a really really valid reason for me to subscribe longer because I just need to pick and choose the boxes that I can afford and I want to spread it or like over all the boxes that are out there. So what can we expect from this box? Every month we send out a critically chosen book from your selected genre chocolate right from the handmade to the award winning to simply the best selling chocolate out there and some hot drink be that tea, coffee or hot chocolate. So we can expect a book a chocolate and some hot drink. Let's open it up. So I already noticed so far they only had like this um, stamp and it it looked okay but it um, didn't translate to this um, paper well. So with this sticker it already looks a lot better. I do hope that they can soon afford um, to get these boxes, um, I think they're actually like pizza boxes, um, hand like um, branded because that just makes it so much better. Okay, let's take a look. This is what the box looks like when you open it up. And you can already see the hot drink, a wrapped book and the chocolate. So that's what it looks like. So we have luxury hot chocolate, flavored drink. Um, so there's like one, two, three satchels of hot chocolate. That is quite what we usually get, like three. Then we have, um, is that like chocolate or a coffee bean? Espresso Italiano. I think that's like chocolate coffee beans or something. The chocolate. Milk chocolate open sesame. Caramelized sesame and sunflower seeds. Innovative British chocolate. It sounds good. That sounds really interesting. I am looking forward to trying this one. And then there's a note. Next month's gift. Um, so they're announcing four lucky winners will receive a copy of a pocket-sized butterfly notebook. So they always do like a raffle and they randomly pick and choose like a subscriber to receive like an extra gift. Um, so far I have not been the lucky one, but you only have to be subscribed and you might get a, an extra gift. So 
so oh this is interesting um so this is my second chiclet one and this is the second time that the bookmark contains like this little dangly um thing and this is really cute this is like a little book i am simply a book a drunkard e.m montgomery so they have nice quotes and i do like having like uh, something on the bookmark that's a neat idea it's cute but let's get to the book i'm excited to see what their pick is for chiclet this month not even attempting at uh, leaving uh, the paper intact i've given that up Would you risk everything for a second chance at first love? The best of Adam Sharp. Okay. After 22 years without any contact at all, Angelina Brown, my great lost love, decides to change the world and emails hi. Adam Sharp met the love of his life on the other side of the world. He was playing in a bar in Australia when Angelina requested a song. It was the start of a relationship he's never forgotten, but not every duet ends on a high note. Two decades later and a half a world away, Adam is stunned by Angelina's message. He thought he was happy. He thought he had everything. Now all he can think about is her. Adam has sung about second chances, but does he believe in them? And is he prepared to risk everything to find out if they ever come true? So this sounds just like a simple romance. I am not the romance kind of person. Um, but the cover kind of speaks to me. I like the cover. So I do like when like romance is not the most important thing in the book. If it just is a secondary thing, I do love chiclet when it's funny. I do like chiclet sometimes when the main part of the chiclet is not romance. But I knew what I was getting into that I might just get romance books when I am picking chiclet. What do I do with this one? I might do a thing like read one or two chapters and decide if I'm gonna keep this. Actually, like, I really do like the cover a lot. So what to do, what to do, what to do? If you read this book, please let me know if this is a just a romance or if this is like a funny comedy like rom-com kind of thing um if it's just romance and if it's just cheesy romance um i'm not interested <laughs> and this will go into my giving away pile and if this is funny i might attempt it so i'm gonna do some research on this one before i read it all right shall we get into the ratings let's do that beauty the main item was wrapped um i don't know if we should um let's count this not as a paid for item but like it was beautifully designed um so that gets a point as well there's no spoiler card sadly so nothing for that um i would really enjoy a spoiler card in this box simply because the spoiler card could tell me where i could get this chocolate if i like it and i don't have to do the research myself that would be a really nice service and i would enjoy that a lot being special it does not have any special goodies um but uh, let's count the bookmark as an add or an add-on it is a well-working concept for unique selling point. Um, the social media activity is okay. They are active on Instagram um, and they do have a challenge. As for service, the shipping experience is really good. Um, never an issue, probably because it's so small, it never will like get an issue with like customs. Um, the mail infos are really, really good. I get a lot of informational emails about the renewal of the um like i'm getting an email your subscription will renew soon your subscription has renewed and when everything has been shipped so that is really the best um 
that I can imagine. It's not like too much, but it's exactly all the information that I want. And you can pick and choose about the chocolate. I can, I think you can like say like if you are like vegan, if you have like any um, allergies and stuff. The worth of the box. Um, so the originality is there. The expectation has been met. All the items are usable. The chocolate costs two fifty nine, so it is like a luxurious chocolate. Um, the book costs eight um, eight bucks, and together with these samples i do think we get to a worth rating of 0 0.9 which is okay so i do think that this box um it gets a total of 14 stars uh, 14 points which is a three star rating i do think that this box could do a little bit more um Compared to other boxes that get similar points, I do not like this as much as the others because I feel that with the topic of like including food items um, to the books and everything, they could just they could just do a tiny bit more either on the design part or they could go for the value part and add more like chocolate or more treats to get the value rating up a little at this point we're not getting our money's worth completely and i have not been a fan of all the book picks i mean and i'm not counting that i um, i'm getting romance because if i pick chiclet i know that i might be getting romance but i picked ya and usually i'm i like most ya books but there were like there was like one book that i really didn't like that much and i think um it was just too different or too niche or something um it's not like a highly rated book it didn't feel like a hidden gem or something so i don't know um not completely convinced but this might be exactly what you want if you like the book picks and if you just like a little bit of chocolate and a hot drink and you like to try new things about this this might be the box for you all right so this is it for today if you haven't done so before head on over to my giveaway to check out if there's something that you would like to win and enter my giveaway and if you've been watching until now, please just hit that subscribe button and I hope you come back to my channel soon. Until then, bye.